The show started with Team Bianca versus Damage Control. It was alright start to war game, Charlotte doing flips and shit, kneeing EO Sky in the forehead. Eventually Team Bianca gets the win. Then we get the Miz versus Gunther for the Intercontinental Championship. Miz put up a good fight, I actually thought he was going to steal the win. But Gunther took the win himself to retain the Intercontinental Championship. Dragon Lee versus Escobar. To me, this wasn't the best match I've ever seen, but Dragon Lee and Escobar can actually go in the ring. Eventually, Escobar would hit this move and get the win. Rhea Ripley versus Zoe. Rhea eventually hit her finish and took the win to retain the WWE Women's Championship. The Judgment Day and Drew versus Jay, Sammy, Seth, and Cody. The match begins and Randy still hasn't showed up. Later on in the match, the last timer for Cody's team is going down. Once it hit zero, nobody came out but Rhea Ripley with the Money in the Bank contract. She starts running to the ring and Priest is going to cash in the Money in the Bank inside of War Games. Right as Rhea hands the Money in the Bank to the ref, Randy's music hits. He's here to tear some shit down. He comes down to the ring and everybody gets their ass beat. Eventually, Randy would RKO JD from the near of top of War Games. Then, Cody would hit his finish to get the win. This match was actually good, I'ma watch it again. But just when you thought everything was over, CM Punk's music hits. The crowd goes nuts. I was in shock. I didn't think he would actually show up, but he definitely did. I can't wait to see what WWE does when CM Punk.